All right, so Dr. Ray's coming in. So first of all, let's talk about Dr. Mink's mobile vet care. There's a lot that people don't know. Uh, they actually have a beautiful facility uh, in Kennewick that you can take your pets to. Uh, but they also do mobile services. Tell us about that, Dr. Ray. Yeah, so we're pretty unique in that we have a full service traditional brick and mortar clinic uh, out in Badger Canyon. Mm-hmm. But we also have three mobile units that can come to your house to see your pets. Or, you know, we go to apartment complexes, we go to assisted living facilities, you know, all those kinds of places for people who either can't or don't want to deal with the hassle of taking their pets into the vet's office. We can do basically everything on our trucks that we can do in the clinic, including surgeries. Wow, that's crazy. I saw your trucks. They are pretty high tech. You guys have some pretty stellar equipment. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, so in so in the case of like, if you had like a really large dog and you're unable, like maybe you're a single woman or an older person and you can't put them in the car and physically bring them in, you guys can go out and take care of the mobile services that way. Absolutely. And, and sometimes it's even just animals that get really stressed going into the vet clinic. You know, cats in particular, you have that cat that you cannot get in that cat carrier for the life of you. Well, you don't have to deal with the hassle because we can come to your place and see your kitty right there. All right. All right, Dr. Ray. So we're heading into the holidays and we were kind of chatting off air Um, And it's springtime, so lots of things are starting to pop up in our yards. But we were talking about something in particular that could be deadly to your animal. Tell us what that is. Yeah, so Easter is just around the corner, and we're starting to see pop up in the stores those big, beautiful potted Easter lilies, big white flowers. A lot of people don't know that those are extremely toxic to cats. I had no idea. And would a cat try to, I mean, cat animals try to eat anything (laughs) sure some cats are just attracted to house plants i don't really know what the reason is but so if a cat were to eat one of those fancy beautiful daylilies what happens well as little as one single bite of the leaves or the flowers of that plant can cause a cat to go into acute kidney failure and that can be irreversible oh my gosh do you have a do you see a lot of that around Easter? Unfortunately, because those plants are so prevalent this time of year and a lot of people don't know about it, we we do see quite a few cases of cats that get into that particular plant. Wow. So there you go. There's some info maybe you didn't know. Uh, if you'd like to talk to Dr. Ray about your pet, any pet questions, you can call us. She's going to hang out in the studio with me for a while. So give us a call at 545-9803. Any questions, anything at all, she'll be happy to answer them.